Hello everyone and welcome to Prismat. And our topic is all about factors of the perfect square trinomials. Perfect square trinomials. A perfect square trinomials is the result of squaring a binomial. A minus B quantity, A minus B squared equals to A squared negative 2AB positive B squared. Then we have A plus B. We have quantity A plus B squared equals to A squared positive 2AB positive B squared. Now this one is squaring a binomial. This one is perfect square trinomial. Squaring a binomial, perfect square trinomial. A perfect square trinomial is the result of squaring a binomial. So we have the squaring of a binomial. The given result is perfect square trinomial. A minus B, quantity A minus B squared equals to A squared negative 2AB positive B squared. So look at the first and the last term. First and last term are perfect squares. First and last terms are perfect squares. And look at the middle term. The middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. So again, first and last perfect squares. And the middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. A plus B squared equals to A squared positive 2AB positive B squared. The first and last term are perfect squares. And then look at the middle term. We have 2, then AB. So it means middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first and last terms. Take note, last term is always positive. Last term is always positive. If the last term is not positive, therefore, it is not perfect square trinomial. Determine each of the following is a, is a perfect square trinomial or not. Number one, x squared negative 5x minus 25. And this one is not because we all know that the middle term is, no, is not twice the product of the first and the last term. And number two, we have m squared negative 6m positive 9. And this one is perfect square trinomial. First and last term are perfect square. And the middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. Number three, perfect square trinomial. First and last perfect square. And then the middle term is twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. Number four, a squared negative 4a positive 16. The answer is not. Why not? Because the middle term is not twice the product of the square root of the first and the last term. And the answer in number five, the answer is also not because obviously the first term is negative. So again, the first term is always positive. Steps in factoring the perfect square trinomials. The first step is get the square root of the first and last term. A squared positive 2AB positive B squared. So we have A squared positive 2AB plus B squared. Get the square root of the first and the last term. First and last term. And first and last term are perfect square. So a squared and b squared, the square root of a squared is a. The square root of b squared is b. So therefore, we have a, b. So a, then b. <coughs> Number two, copy or use the sign of the middle term between these roots. a squared positive 2ab positive b squared. Then the middle term, the sign of the middle term is positive and therefore copy. Next step is square the binomial. So square the binomial. And therefore, this will be your factor form. So a squared positive 2ab positive b squared, the given, the, the factor is a plus b squared. a squared negative 2ab positive b squared, we have a minus b squared. So quantity a minus b squared. So this will be your factor form. Example number one, factor m squared negative 10m positive 25. 
m squared, 25, first and last term. First and last term are perfect square, and therefore, m squared is m, because m times m is m squared. So m, the square root of m squared is m. 25, the square root of 25 is 5. So m squared negative 10m positive 25, so this will be our given. And then we have m, so that will be our first term. Then 25, the square root of 25 is 5, so therefore we have 5. And then the middle term is negative 10m. So copy the sign. And then last term is square the binomial. So square the binomial. And therefore this will be your factored form. So this will be your answer. Next. Factor x squared positive 22xy positive 121y squared. Last, first and last term. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 121y squared is 11y because 11 times 11 is 121. And therefore, we have x squared positive 22xy positive 121y squared. We have x then we have 11y. And then how about the sign, the connected sign? So the sign of the middle term is positive and therefore copy positive. And then the last term is, and the last step is uh, square the binomial and therefore we have the square. So this will be your factored form. Next, factor 4a squared negative 20a positive 25. So first term and last term are both a perfect square, and therefore the square root of 4a squared is 2a. The square root of 25 is 5. So we have 4a squared negative 20a positive 25. So we have 2a, then 5. The square root of 25 is 5. And then how about the connected sign? Copy the sign of the middle term. So we have negative. Then after that, square. So therefore, this will be your factor form. Next, factor m squared negative m positive one fourth. m squared and one fourth, first and last, are perfect square. And therefore, we have the square root of m squared is m. The square root of one fourth is one half. So we have m squared negative m positive one fourth is equal to m. That will be the square root of m squared. And then the square root of 1 fourth is 1 half. And then how about the connected sign? So again, the second step is copy or use the sign of the middle term. So the middle term is negative and therefore copy the sign negative. And then after that, square the binomial. So we have the square. Very easy. So therefore, this will be our factor form. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something. Bye.